The Molaski Group of Companies is a multi-generational, family-owned business based in Las Vegas, in business for over 60 years. We built the first and largest LEED Gold Certified Class A office building in the state of Nevada. We do a lot of public-private partnerships, multifamily development, office, and institutional uses such as jails, prisons, hospitals, and we've even done resort development in our past. I'm Rich Worthington, President and Chief Operating Officer of the Molaski Group of Companies. What you'll find in working with the Molaski Group of Companies is we approach every project and every client as a partnership. We're very passionate about real estate development. Our chairman is involved in every project that we do. He rolls up his sleeves and gets involved because he enjoys what he's doing and he's imbued that in each and every one of us. I'm Erwin Molaski, chairman of the board of the Molaski Group of Companies. Our company approaches governmental agencies in a unique way. We research the client's needs, we have discussions with the client, we have discussions with their staff, we bring architects and designers to the table, bring engineers in, and we all sit in a room and figure out what the client really needs. We pride ourselves in being transparent with governmental agencies. By that, our, we have an open book. The Molaski Group of Companies within the last five or six years has focused on public-private partnerships with local, state, and federal agencies. Our company has expanded into detention and prison construction a few years back. I'm very proud of the Clark County Detention Center that we completed. We did that project on time, on budget, with no change orders, and I'm confident we built that facility a lot more efficiently than the county could have done it themselves. It's our core business. It's what we do every day that delivers value to our clients. I'm Tom Collins, County Commissioner, Clark County, Nevada. Um, it's been a very enjoyable experience working with the Molaski companies. The, if you're going to build a facility like this, if you want to enter a private-public partnership, um, they've done as good a job as anybody I know that does this kind of work. Irwin and the Molaski company has had that reputation in Clark County for a long time. The advantages of a public-private partnership is you get the best of both ends of the spectrum. You get the government oversight to make sure things are legitimate. You get the private partnership for the initiative and the ability to be creative and make things work quickly and appropriately and in a much more timely manner. We've dealt with municipalities with limited uh, resources to get needed infrastructure completed. Clark County was a prime example in the construction of the detention center. They had the funds to pay a lease, but uh, weren't able to increase their bonding capacity to build the facility that they needed. Mulaski came in and did, provided turnkey services from design of the facility, acquisition of land to, to final construction and financing. Governments are looking for value today. They have to do so much more with so much less. Tax revenues are challenged, property tax values are down. These are having profound impacts on the way government gets facilities constructed. Needed facilities like jails and prisons, infrastructure projects that aren't so sexy but have to be completed in order to keep these communities safe. The public-private partnership is a win-win-win situation for everybody because it allows the public entity, whether it be city or county or state or federal, to proceed at a much faster pace and really get better value for their money and deliver is maybe years before they would normally get it. And if you have a responsible developer like the Molaski Group Companies, it's a very transparent process, so you show all your costs, and the best part for the public entity is they don't have to have any dollars involved, especially in this economy. And our group finances it, designs it, builds it, operates it if they want to. We're a one-stop shop. There's no risk to the county because they've taken the whole burden of financing and building this thing and getting it ready for us to put our detainees in and bringing our jailers in to work here from the Sheriff's Department. So the whole risk was on Mulaski companies and they've done a very good job of, of getting this done. They made it a great opportunity for the county to be able to get this structure built, get this facility up and going and let us be able to bond later for that when we have a better opportunity. We don't strive to be the largest company in town. We, uh, we pride ourselves, in fact, on the, on the fact that we're small, we're nimble, decision-making happens quick, and key executives within every level of this company are involved on a hands-on uh, basis in every project that we do. From the time this facility was an idea on a napkin to the time we've completed it was 21 months of time. Record time for a detention facility 
of a thousand beds and as large and complex as this project was. The Clark County facility requires significantly less licensed officers in a supervisory role, primarily due to the design that we've implemented there. As an example, video court is operated by one officer as opposed to 15 to 18 that's used in the downtown facility. The Malaski group of companies is perhaps the most innovative company that I have interfaced or experienced in my career. Uh, they seem to always find a way to get things done, but most importantly, they think outside the box. They recognize that there are better ways, perhaps, of accomplishing the same goal. We were able to reduce the cost significantly just through innovation. The Mulaski Group came in at the beginning of this when they come in and said, hey, look, I've got a piece of property that will work. We'll do it all. We'll have it turnkey. We'll hand you the key, and it's going to be just what you want. And that's what he's proven to do. There are no change orders, no extras, no add-ons. He brought in a great group of contractors, and they did a fabulous job. Obviously, in every government project, there's a balance between aesthetics, doing something that's overkill or be criticized by the community in terms of the use of taxpayer funds, and designing something that works well for the staff that has to be in that facility, sometimes as long as 10 or 12 hour shifts. We pride ourselves in, in reaching that balance between cost-effective design and a facility that will help retain employees, provide a happier, healthier, and safer work environment. And in the end, we think that will reduce costs to local government. We go out and meet with neighbors, explain the projects, how they're going to live and breathe, and figure out ways to design or execution of the project to deal with real concerns that are voiced by neighbors. We wanted that facility to be a bright spot in the location that it sits. Uh, we used a couple of different paint tones reflective of the desert environment. We added uh, metal architectural uh, awnings and uh, various uh, elements to create shadow lines and, and points of interest on the building. It has a clean look. Uh, to many, it doesn't look like a jail. And that was our purpose and idea, was to sort of blend into the neighborhood, be as least obtrusive as possible. And in fact, the perimeter wall in that facility looks much like that you'd find around a residential facility. There's no barbed wire, and that's purposeful because the design itself secures the inmates in that facility. So those are the details that we think through in every controversial project that we do. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to get them built. This is the second facility in which I have worked with the Mulaski Company in building. Uh, they were also responsible when I was the Director of Corrections in building the first, the very first in Nevada, 400-bed uh, reentry center that we call the Casa Grande. And to sort of tout Casa Grande and what the Mulaski uh, company has done, it has now been recognized nationally as a model for reentry. If you need to build something like this uh, in your state or your county somewhere else, these are the good folks, they have the expertise, they have the proven ability to produce and they can get it done for you. Real estate development is not a science, it's an art. Our word is our bond and in this industry that's utmost important.